Our research set out to see whether or not children make greater progress in mathematics following the use of a mastery-based teaching approach and set of materials. We used a randomised controlled trial with a delayed treatment design. We recruited one group of schools to start using Inspire Maths resources and professional development in September. The other group of schools started the following January. We visited each classroom three times during the year to observe lessons and interview teachers and to assess pupils' math skills and enjoyment of the subject. Our key findings for this study are that pupils who used Inspire Maths from September had significantly higher maths achievement after two terms. Teachers who started using Inspire Maths in September demonstrated more effective classroom practice than the January starters at first, but the January start group also caught up after both groups were using Inspire Maths and after both groups had participated in the Inspire Maths professional development sessions. Teachers were generally very positive about the materials and approach, but they valued the professional development. It was important for school leaders as well as classroom teachers to be on board and committed to adopting Inspire Maths so that teachers weren't subject to competing pressures, especially with regard to the coverage of learning objectives. Teachers were also often surprised by how their judgments of pupils' abilities were challenged when they started to use Inspire Maths. They were not differentiating traditionally. They were using mixed ability groups, and often they were finding that high ability pupils struggled to explain or prove even when they could successfully find an answer, while low ability pupils could often demonstrate understanding even if they struggled to do this in writing. Teachers' use of higher order questioning, asking pupils to prove or to show an alternative way of performing a maths task, was something that teachers found to be really beneficial in supporting their pupils' learning. The Inspire Maths program has had a major impact here, improving every pupil's attitude towards maths. Through variation theory, visual representations and the use of manipulatives, teachers are teaching with a greater focus on understanding. I was initially sceptical about a textbook scheme, but quickly I saw the deepening conceptual understanding offered by the Singapore approach. Inspire Maths and the CPD that we've had with it has really opened our eyes. As a result, we are now creating very confident mathematicians. So to conclude, our evaluation has provided important new evidence on the use of mastery-based approaches to teaching maths. It improves our understanding of teachers' experiences and throws light on how mastery-based approaches can help ensure a secure understanding of the fundamentals to support young children's learning and achievement in maths. Music